We got our chopsticks, some big fat pieces. I think Jaws didn't want the pieces before because they were just too small. Guys, we know Jaws is a shark. Reach out there. Oh, right here? You want some sushi? Come here, right here. Right here. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, the koi! Is it the okay? Koi. But I honestly think that we saved this turtle's life. This is clearly not done correctly. Stop moving! Come on, chill out. What's up, Raw fam? So we just got back from Panama. I feel like it's literally been forever since I've been on my own house, but we went over there and we caught a bunch of yellowfin tuna. And I actually have a little bit of it right here, guys. I am so freaking excited because Jaws gave me a phone call and she said, yo, if you go to Panama and don't get a yellowfin tuna and bring it home to me to eat, <laughs> You're gonna be in trouble big boy. So I went off. I got the yellowfin tuna and Jaws is in that pond right there waiting to eat. Come with me. Let's see if uh, everyone's here. I'm gonna put this down just for a second. Oh Jaws. Oh hi koi fish. Maybe the koi want to greet us first. Come close. Come close. You can get nice and close. Look at the catfish. Oh my goodness. Look at them all. They're rushing over all the koi fish. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Guys, and Jaws is literally probably sitting right here. Let me. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Hi, Jaws. Hi, Jaws. Hi, Jaws. Did you see that reaction? Okay, I don't want to put my hand back in there without having something for her to eat. So I'm just going to give her a little bit of this yellowfin tuna. I'm just going to take off a little baby piece. This is like literally absolutely nothing for Jaws. Guys, if you guys know Jaws, Jaws is crazy. She could probably eat, look at this, the whole freaking piece. So we're going to come up here. Oh, J Jaws, we're, we're good, right? Come on, Jaws. All right, just, oh! <laughs> so Jaws is already hungry. Those bass are really free. Look at her. Look at that. This guy's getting all crazied up. Oh, hello. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, I know. I have food for you, too. I understand. Everybody in here is clearly ready for this ceviche that I'm going to make them. But, Raw Fam, I got to be honest. I kind of miss everybody at the Raw Fam. Venom's over there somewhere. I got my snakes. And honestly, Raw Fam, guys, let's go see the turtles. Guys, I haven't seen them forever. Shelly! <laughs> oh, I miss Shelly. So actually, believe it or not, this pond's almost back up and running. We've been working on it nonstop, day in and day out, and everything's been pretty, pretty good. Yo, Enzo. Yeah. Bro, how long's it been like? Um, well, you went to Bahamas, and then you went to Panama, so like two weeks. Two weeks? Bro, she's covered in mud. This water's been here for two weeks. Is that puddle been here for two weeks? Yeah. Bro, she's covered in mud. I, I, I'm so, I can't finish the video. It's This isn't good. We need to deal with this now. We have four tortoises in here. I, I just gotta check this ASAP. Come on. Stop moving. Come on, chill out. All right, I gotta get her out of here for now. I can't see because she's in the mud and she's just gonna keep making more mud. Listen, we need to get the tortoises out of here. The mud cannot sit. The, the thing's filled with bacteria. The moment the heat hits it, it fills with bacteria. And that is a ticking time bomb for tortoises. Not good. <laughs> Chill out, shall we? All right, this is a learning experience. Might as well throw this in the vlog. Um, this tortoise would most likely die if they were sitting in bacteria like that. I got a flipper. Okay. Okay, see how much mud was on her? Look at all the mud. Look at, look at all the mud. Everything, that is not good. All right, we were filling that pond up. Grab me, Enzo, put, put that tortoise down. Grab this right here. Hello? Yeah, hurry. We're lucky that we're filling up that pond. All right. Come here. See all this mud? That's gonna cake in. And if she has a sore, or anything on her, that will 100% get infected and that'll be an issue. It'll fill with bacteria. She get a bacterial infection on the outside. Uh, I'm gonna have to deworm these guys anyway. That was too long. You see anything on her right here? I don't know. Okay, check everywhere. Let me get some more water here. All right. All right, she looks good. 
these tortoises are gonna have to go into quarantine and they're not gonna be inside that pond anymore. You hear me, Enzo? Yes, sir. So when we have the employees come over to, to do all the uh, the landscaping and everything, to no-no. Tell them they cannot do that ever again. No one made me aware of the mud. That's not good, bro. We'll kill all of them. Guys, if you know, I take this tortoise severely serious. This is an endangered species here. Uh, this is an Aldabra tortoise. There's only a couple thousand probably in existence and I'm trying to rehabilitate the breed and I, I take this so serious more than YouTube sometimes because I don't want her to die. So this is what we're gonna have to do. Get all the tortoises out, come, come with me. Okay, right, you take this one. All right, it's okay, I'm gonna teach you, ready? Come right here. Flip her upside down, okay? You're gonna check her. Come here, I'm gonna show you guys what to look for. Check for anything, okay? You see anything, okay? And if you see anything on the bottom of her, okay, we're gonna treat with scarlet oil, okay? I have scarlet oil for cuts for this exact reason. She looks good, we're gonna flip over, send her on her way, we don't want a mud pit here. Enzo, get the other two out yeah. um, right now, and then we gotta build them an enclosure on the back side. All right, let me, let me get you guys up to speed. This tortoise breed right here, severely endangered. You, you just can't have stuff like this happen. Gorgeous animal, I, I've put my time, effort into this. I've been filming YouTube all over the country. I was just in the Bahamas, and then I was just in Panama. Um, so yeah, Enzo, go grab the other one, I'll rinse her off. And I, I was away for like two weeks. It started raining, it's rainy season, and this is a severe issue. No doubt in my mind, maybe a couple more uh, weeks and some serious stuff, they would stop eating. Most likely that whole enclosure would fill up with water, and animals would stop eating and I would get some really bad phone calls like, hey, he's not eating, I don't know why, and that's one of the reasons. That mud gets in their intestines and it's, it's, it's a bad deal. Animals die like that. Look at this, you see this? See how this is caked on, okay? If there's a wound there, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is what happens. See how this is? Look, this is me peeling mud off of her shell because they've been sitting in it for the last two weeks. This is a big no-no. And if there was a sore right here, you see that right there, where the new growth is? Sometimes they get little sores because every animal does. It wasn't like that before. Hurricanes are really bad here. And my mom doesn't know any better, so she, you know, it, we, we don't really have these issues too often. It, it's just once in a blue moon, something will happen and bam. I'm not here every day to, to check on these guys, so. You see this? This is like a shell defect. You see that where it's overlapping? That could easily be a sore, okay? I'm gonna brush these guys down with scarlet oil anyway, just in case as a safety precaution. So if there is any open wounds that the eye cannot visibly see, maybe a hairline, something like that, those guys will immediately get um, cured, basically, for that little mini one. All right, let's get this last one, come here. All right. And we're gonna hit these guys with dewormer. All right, let's go. Enzo, come on. All right, Enzo, grab the top of this, or grab the back. Okay, this one. Oh, thank God we cleared this out. Yo, we were gonna put my, uh, my monitor here. This is for the monitor enclosure. Hey, for now, it's gonna be the tortoise enclosure. All right, let's grab the other one, let's go. Yeah, let's go. It's exactly what I'm talking about. This is what happens. See how this is? Look, this is me peeling mud off of her shell because they've been sitting in it for the last two weeks. All right, roll this in, roll it. All right, that's perfect. Roll that in, roll that in. All right, we're almost done, we're almost done. This is not something I wanted to plan to do today. Uh, just gotta get these tortoises. They're just sitting in this mud because they like it. And don't get me wrong, tortoises enjoy it. And don't get me wrong, there's things that we could do to give them a mud pit the right way, like having a drain on it to where they sit in it for a day and then you drain it out. But anything longer than 24 hours, the heat creates bacteria. 
that's a no bueno for, for tortoises and any of these animals out here. My monitor, I'm gonna have it set up on a drain. It's not gonna be sitting in there in bacteria. That's a no go. Grab one of these little ones. Look at their eyes, make sure their eyes are, aren't cloudy and their noses aren't bubbling. That'd be a really bad sign. Feel their stomachs too. Yeah, nice and hard. You want them to be hard. If they're nice and, if they're squishy, you got a dead tortoise. Or you better start treating it because it's infected. Enzo, you want to try and grab Shelly? See if you can pick her up. Oh my god. If she's too heavy, just put her down. It's fine, I'll get her. Oh my god. No, I can't do too that. Too heavy? Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna put I'm gonna grab her. Don't worry. It, it takes a weird technique to grab those guys. Put them in here. Um, this is so temporary. Those boards, so you see these boards? Those boards are clearly stuck in the mud. There's this much mud on those boards. There's like a, a scum level on them. So what we have to do is probably take those boards completely out so then the water will properly drain under the fence. It's actually making like a waterproof pond area for it, which is so bad. Is she trying to get out already? Look, see, look, this is what will happen. Your tortoises will be gone. Oh, she doesn't like the GoPro. She does not like the GoPro. She is, look, she's beating that GoPro up. Go over there. Go. What the? Look, she's beating it up. Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? So if you guys want to follow my only turtles, um, she's, what are you doing? You can't do this. She just she went fully, you know, breeding mode on my, on my, on my GoPro. Okay. All right, let's go get Shelly. Jeez. Bro, you good? Yeah. It's a little out of breath. Um, all right, um, good. I'm gonna sit here for a second. Yo, the next video. You guys look in here. We've been working on this. I've had people out here day in and day out. They got it to this point for me. Um, thank you, Austin. Thank you, everybody. Um, if you look in here, this is ready to go. All I have to do is add the gravel later today, and it's good. This is the filter system we need. We need to go three to four inch gravel and then P rock. So this is perfect. And that pond should be, hey, that pond should be ready to freaking go. I gotta grab Shelly. This is, I know it's been a wacky video, guys. I, I did not plan for this. I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. That, that, that mud pit is disgusting. Um, come here, I'm gonna show you guys why. What's going on here is, when it's really hot here, it gets like 90 something degrees. Today's an overcast day because it's been raining and lightning all day and night long. If you guys look right here, this mud has water in it, okay? And it's nice and moist. It, it, it is a ball, okay? This will seep to the bottom of their shells. It will get inside their food. This is clearly not done correctly. Someone's gonna get chewed out for that, but it's, it's, it's disgusting. And you know, safety precautions are there for a reason to help your animals. So look over here, you see this water? This water right here is probably filled with mosquito larva, with bacteria, with God knows what type of amoebas and blah, 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 blah is inside of this water. There's so many different types of animals that live in South Florida that when they find a sitting body of water, they will lay their babies in there. And who knows whether or not that killer whatever is gonna have that baby in there and it's gonna sting or it's going to cling to an open wound on my tortoises. Thank God I did not see any open wounds. That would be horrible, but I honestly think, like I swear to God, Ralph M, I think I just saved my tortoise's life. I think I just rescued them from this hell hole. This is not good. And I'm gonna be completely honest, Ralph fam. This is a tortoise hell hole. This is completely what you do not want for your tortoises. If you guys look at the bottom of those, um, of those big pieces of wood, the railroad ties, they're actually trapping the water there. Normally it would go under the fence, so we gotta reconstruct this tortoise area. There's no rule book on keeping animals. I've said this a hundred times. There's no rule book. There's nothing set in stone that's saying you can't have railroad ties and that they're gonna create mud. It's rainy season two weeks ago. This was not here, so let's grab Shelly before she breaks out. You ready, baby? Bro, how much do you think this girl weighs? I'll do 200 pounds, easy. Literally? Maybe more. Maybe more? Yeah, dude. 200 pounds. Okay, ready? Let's go, baby. There you go, Frankie. Oh, we do this. We do this. All right, Raw fam, so there you go. This is the new tortoise area, apparently. For now, um, I'm gonna take a break. Uh, we're gonna need to add a couple walls here. So, cue some really bad of the bone B-roll GoPro footage. Love ya.
gonna grab her. But I told you. Alright Raw fam, so the moment you guys have all been waiting for, we have the yellowfin tuna like we talked about. Guys, we had a crazy adventure just now, was not ready for that, but I honestly think that we saved this turtle's life. It could have very easily died. Um, I'm gonna go over and rub scarlet oil on them later, but we have some bigger fish to fry because Jaws, she's hungry. And we all know, we don't feed Jaws eventually. Woo! It'll catch up to you. Come on. Oh Jaws! Oh she's right here. See her? Okay. All right, Raw Fam, you guys ready? Here we go. That's one piece, that's two pieces, that's three pieces, that's four. We're gonna make them perfect on the plate just for Jaws. Just like that, she's gonna be so happy. Just like that. And as you go, they gradually get bigger and bigger and bigger. That looks good, dude. Can I have some? <laughs> I don't know. Jaws might get a little upset if I fed any of this to uh, one of my friends. She'd be like, yo, that guy go to Chipotle like any day of the week? Nah, I don't get Chipotle, so this is the next best thing. So, oh my God, look guys, it's sashimi. Oh my goodness, guys, Jaws gonna be happy. All right, here we go. We got our chopsticks. Oh, here we go. Some big fat pieces. I think Jaws didn't want the pieces before because they were just too small. Guys, we know Jaws is a shark and she wants a Big ol' frickin' hunk of meat. So, you ready? Oh, Jaws! Here, girl, right here. Come on. A uh, decoy, maybe. Oh, the koi, a uh, koi. Come on, this isn't for you. Come on, I gotta reach out there. Oh, right here? You want some sushi? Come here, right here. You want some sushi? Right here. It's right, it's literally right. Okay, we're gonna keep feeding them. <laughs> Why do you swim past it? Right here, right here. Oh! Oh, oh my god! Oh, the koi! Is it okay? Koi. Oh my! Oh my! Okay, we need to keep it away from the koi fish because these catfish are not playing. Are you ready? Grab some more sushi right here. Come on, Jaws. Oh no. The koi. Oh! <laughs> she! That koi is trying to get some extra vitamin C, vitamin D, some extra omegas, and definitely some extra protein because, hey, that koi is already big enough. Hey, hey! Save some for Jaws, okay? Before he literally gets back at you, because that was crazy. So, we have, let's, what, I see some big catfish. Maybe if I stab it in there, it won't fall off, because this is a big piece. I don't think the chopsticks are rated for half pound. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh! oh my God! <laughs> oh, Jaws! Guys, I told you guys. That was the biggest piece on this. Jaws was waiting, she was waiting, she was waiting, and oh, wham! Guys, if you guys don't know, Jaws actually attacked a little kid the other day. Oh no, here comes Roman. No! And now I'm starting to think anything that's bigger than like an average bait style, like anything, like look, this, 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 this could be like the whole tuna, bro. That's literally as big as any type of fish. All right, here we go. So we have our, oh, okay, don't get it too close to my hand. I'm not trying to lose a finger roll, fam. All right, here we go. Come on, Jaws. Oh! Oh, dude. Bro, she's getting big. She might not even be able to get out of the water anymore. I don't know. We're getting down to our last couple pieces. Come here, Mr. Koi Fish. Come on. Oh. Bro, fam, I think we got a savage. Hey guys, comment down below. Do you guys think that my fish actually like and enjoy the yellowfin tuna? Like, do you think they really enjoy the sushi? All right, here we go, right here. Boom, boom, boom. Waiter, order's up. We got two pieces, one for me. Ah, it's a little too fishy for me, but, ready? Whoa. Boom, right into his mouth, and then this one goes to a koi. And Mr. Koi right there. Oh, oh, you're not a koi fish. Yes, silly goose. So of course, Raw Fam, our whole entire plate of sushi 
Oh no. Is gone. All right, all fans, so that is gonna be the end of today's awesome, crazy adventure. If you guys like today's video, make sure you guys leave a like down below and subscribe. The only way you guys are ever gonna see this channel ever again is if you guys leave a like, you guys leave a comment, and you subscribe down below with post notifications on Rolfam. I can't say this enough. If you guys haven't already, smash that subscribe button and join the Rolfam. I love you, Rolfam. I'll see you later. Peace.